Now, I already have a video up of the other side of the burst of speed with the uh, Genti. But yeah, I said I'd better throw one up for the Ferrari, La Ferrari Aperta as well. In case we were having difficulty with this one. But uh, yeah, like this track is all pretty much just about that barrel roll. Uh, getting up onto the platform and having enough nitro to shockwave towards the ramp and put the car forward. So yeah, I said I'd just do a video with my three versions of this car. Uh, so like, yeah, I've got the Aragat 4 stars, the Aventador J at 5. But that Aperta is just not a surefire bet for the 90 tokens. If you're having trouble with it, like, surprise. Especially if you had it below 3 stars, I would think this one's close to impossible. But 3 stars is doable, definitely. So I'll give a run through with each one of uh, these cars. No. The 911 Targa, though, that's one that's had a, a couple of car hunts. Yeah, and he's 26 seconds for it, so it's not the hardest of the set of cars, definitely. That 21.5 time was actually put in by my Aventador J. I find it a lot easier to get a decent time with this without, uh, yeah, even here than the Aperta. Let's say, like, always want to make sure and drive straight down to the nitro imperfect and pretty much head right for this corner here so flip your car up into a barrel i know it seems not the quickest when you're flying through the air like that but yeah i just i'm avoiding the ramp here with all my versions of the air flatland straight to the finish second and a half to spare with that one oh, and it even wins the race uh yeah, like I said, that one needs just 26 seconds. Second and a half to spare. It. No, look at my Aventador J here. I've got it max blueprinted, but uh, yeah, missing just some epic import parts for it. Way heavier car, but you could do the same sort of path with this. Never go up the top route on this, by the way. I've tried it once or twice on the first speed track, and yeah, I, I find that it's about two seconds longer, so go up and around the foot without taking that. Um, yeah, the ramp across. Filling up the nitro. Drift. Shockwave. Going straight across there. And yeah, just careful not to drift the car, but just straight towards the finish line. And yeah, like 1.3 seconds or so to spare on that run. Like I said, my fastest time in this one is with the actual Aventador J putting in that. Uh, 21.365 that one yeah obviously like my version of car is max blueprinted but you should be able to get by with like a four star version of that maybe a three star should be possible as well because a second and a half in the difference is quite a lot with these burst of speed events and especially with like with this one all of this is just a case of flip it right onto that um onto the railing there and shockwave towards the finish line and i find that avoiding that second uh, barrel roll is kind of essential for making those really short times and definitely the problem child of the tree for me is my aperta at just three stars absolutely like <laughs> riding the line of possible for me with this one but still it is doable it's just a case of this car is kind of um the not exactly ideal for this track especially the worst thing you're going to have is like where this sandy portion at the very start of it I find it like sometimes it just starts to bounce on that so that's why I take such a sharp left turn once getting the yellow nitro container here you notice I don't just go straight across the sand I grab the container pull left and then, like that rip with that imperfect at the start it's just because otherwise yeah that um if you leave it go across the path where the AI is taking now for example you will find that yeah you just end up bouncing all over the place and you really do just burn off the as fast as possible with that shockwave and straight towards the finish line and not over that ramp <laughs> and yeah see it's possible to clear it with absolutely miles <laughs> uh because of the fact that actually this one is so tight for me um i'm still collecting the um tokens from this car because like it is possible to do it with that but um it is so incredibly tight <laughs> I don't think I can describe that better than with a 22.699 race, but technically, 
that beats the time limit of two. 22.7 uh, but yeah I'm like yeah, it's a little bit tight <laughs> just tiniest little bit but it's definitely doable at three stars like I say just um get the flip upright and make sure as well that uh when you're using the actual say shockwave portion try to make sure that your car is still in shockwave for that point when you're in the air not before that so like grind the rail a small bit before it i kind of came out a small bit early there and yeah 22.699 but all right if you're still grinding those hopefully this helps out a bit <laughs> good luck guys and uh yeah if you've seen from my other video by the way these packs for these cars in particular are atrocious so if you have the 911 and the aventador j maxed absolutely do not spend tokens packs because of the fact that like they are really really weighted heavily towards those other two cars uh, i think the matt worked out in the other video that the aventador j blueprints in these packs is probably closer to about five percent rather than anywhere near 20 percent. so you'd want to have an incredibly good look to be getting like an, an aperta um star up i mean like in the way my garage is done but yeah we got two car hunt riots kicking off tomorrow one for the leaf and one for the uh grand sport as well as the acura 2017 sx car coming back for a car hunt but yeah there's a sub button up here over my head guys as always there's my indie game reviews up at that side where i take a look at an indie game on the switch and see if it gets to stay indie switch or gets booted audi and there is asphalt at that side all right guys Good luck, happy farming, and yeah, drive safe. <laughs>